I'm going to show you method one of adding audio to a PowerPoint and also adding slide timings to match that audio as it goes through. So the example here would be something like when you've accessed a recording from lecture capture perhaps it might be a 50 minute recording or a 45 minute recording and you want to add slide timings so that as you're going through the audio the slides are advancing at the right point. You can uh, figure it out mathematically if you want but there's another way to do it which is a bit easier and the way to do that is to open the piece of media in a player I'm going to choose mine uh, to open mine in QuickTime player and then over in your PowerPoint you'll have you'll have no slide timings at the moment so all of these are a zero value they don't automatically advance just yet and what we need to do is to start both at relatively the same time relatively close together so let's have a look at that in action PowerPoint is a great tool for presenting it's also very good for publishing your lectures online PowerPoint in the Mac or PC is part of managed operating environment so it's right there on your work computer the only thing that a Mac can't do is export as a movie so if you wanted to do that you can create on a Mac and then just finish on a PC in that last step. So why would you do it that way? Well, let's look at flexibility first. So perhaps you've got an invitation for a conference. Okay, you can hear the playback there. I'm going to come in over the top and I'm going to, first of all, pause and choose to save those slide timings, yes. And then I'll pause the recording here. So ordinarily what would happen is you'd go through the whole uh, the whole audio of your lecture or whatever the piece of audio is and you'd create these slide timings according to that. Now we do have to go back and just finesse the first one a little bit to make sure that they all follow in if there's a problem with uh, uh, just slightly overlapping. First of all we have to add the piece of media it's as easy as dragging it on and then we need to format the audio to play across slides and you can see a little animation has come in there. Let's have a preview to see how far off the slide transitions are. PowerPoint is a great tool for presenting. It's also very good for publishing your lectures online. PowerPoint in the Mac or PC is part of managed operating environment, so it's right there on your work. So you can see that that second slide came in a little bit early. And to manage that, we just manage the transition time of the first slide. So let's change the value of 6 seconds and 5.05 to 7.05 and let's see how that looks. PowerPoint is a great tool for presenting. It's also very good for publishing your lectures online. Okay, probably a little bit early still. So let's change the value again to and see how that works. PowerPoint is a great tool for presenting. It's also very good for publishing your lectures online. PowerPoint in the Mac or PC is part of managed operating environment, so it's right there on your work computer. The only thing that a Mac can't do is export as a movie. So if you wanted to do that, you can create on a Mac and then just finish on a PC in that last step. So why would you do it that way? Okay, so that's working now. And obviously you would keep going, finessing those slide timings until they all match your piece of audio.